We do. I know these two have a bit of a history against each other. I think Nintendo took the last set these two met, but it's been very back and forth between the two of them. So I imagine. I mean, that Duck Hunt Dog has really great range. I love how Nintendo's, uh, Nintendo's style for actually how he evades punishes and throws in those range projectiles. But Master Mario lately uh, has been, you know, making some name for himself, actually. Yeah, absolutely. He's been racking up some wins on unranked on foes and top players alike. Have to see how he fares against Nintendo. Game one, on to PS2. I like that. That's the gentleman's turn for most plays. I like that. Getting, you know, getting 40% off of those like little mix of chips here. Yeah, Nintendo and Master Mario, of course, no strangers to early percent setups. All this to eating it up. I'm loving this back and forth that they're having. Although this up air ladder. I, I was about to say, if that killed already right there, the day that's quick. You are able to survive it by DIing outwards, and Nintendo will be able to mash back to the stage, but he's already in a bit of a percent hole here. Master Mario just looking for his ways to get in. I love that, that Tomahawk grab right there. He gets back and around that. Look at how Master Mario is facing at any given point. He gets him into that tornado, and that's going to be the first stock erased for Nintendo. It was an interesting DI. I didn't think that was going to kill. It's very hard to just read the way you're going to be sent and just quite what angle it does send you at. You can fall out of it, but Nintendo not even tempted at attempting that. So it seems. Master Mario seems so far in control for the, for the first part of the stock. Thus far, gets him into another throw combo, and the up B not quite doing it either. Nintendo has been expert on DIing out both times, but air dodges right into the F smash, and already that second stock has been evaporated nearly as fast as the first was. <laughs> well, no, Master Mario already well making his way. No, I don't think Nintendo's going to let him have that three stock, though. Nintendo well seasoned enough to go ahead and make sure he takes at least a stock off this. You'd have to hope, right? <laughs> he gonna do it. At least one. And tilt from Nintendo. He's gonna be registering more damage onto Master Mario. He's up to 154%. Not able to cape away the can in the F throw. I like how Nintendo's actually going ahead and placing his space in now, working with his projectiles. Just seeing how he can go ahead and try to set up a wall, but Master Mario pushing his way through that wall. Getting away from some of these cans and gunmen, and he does get the three stock. That tornado being caught very high, and Nintendo had nowhere to go but tumbling straight upwards. Absolutely insane. That cycle killed at 70%. It really did. It kills so early, and those up airs just provide the perfect setup to even land one of those to begin with. Mm. Absolutely nuts. I'm actually curious if uh, Nintendo's going to go ahead and counterpick to a different stage. You have to think, right? Well, I definitely wouldn't give him triplats, so that's what it Probably not. Master Mario, never want to do that against any Mario player, especially one as experienced as Master Mario is. It's going to be Town and City for Game 2, and this is a stage where Nintendo has to be ever aware of what the current transformation is because his can setups will be differing by the minute. True, but he has a lot more ground stage to go ahead and perform to be able to set up that wall. I like this counterpick. This has a lot of thought, it looks like. It does. There's been a lot of really, you know, a lot of mental effort into what's been going on. These blast zones might be a bit more suitable. We saw him lose a lot of stocks and almost a few more with the up specials off the top. So with the ceiling here, this might play into his hand a bit more. That was a really great cut to, set to get himself out of a bad situation. Still actually has to go ahead and find the kill, though. He's at 133%. Living for a while. Does get the can. But not quite. He's just tacking on damage. He needs to go ahead and find a way to get... There's that. That's the kill we were looking for. What he was unable to do in the entirety of the first game, it's going to be Vintendo taking first blood now. Only 71% taken in the driver's seat, or so it would seem. Right. Uh, starting, to, starting to go ahead and really set that up. Keeps that edge guard right there. Not quite Mario Mar reversing the situation. That's flood about half charged. Find, find difficulty. I like that for that push from that pair there. Great Nair out of shield. He's just working with these Nairs. This is not a tool he was using in the first game, but I love the adaptation we're seeing from Nintendo. It is. It's not a change of character. It's a change of play style that's been making the difference for him. Rolls around the can and out of the range of the gunman as well, but gets the confirm off for the first beat. And now with the back air, Nintendo is up three stocks to one. Wow. Yeah, I know it's an incredible swing of momentum that we're actually seeing here from Nintendo. Well, what a change in the way this one's been going. The F throw from Master Mario will put Nintendo into triple digits, but I should be doing a lot more than that. Still really setting up this wall really well. I love his nares right there in the chains. First up smash I've actually seen uh, uh, Master Mario throw out. Oh, he tried to chase him with that. That was a brilliant trap. 
He just trapped him up with the Cyclone to make him say not to get into that, and then put the back air to actually finish the stock. Yeah, that nope. was really clever. Nowhere to go except for the one option that would have been his death. Just back off and go downstage. And I hesitate to say that Master Mario has a window into this game, especially with some of these Nairs and Frisbees that Nintendo is throwing out, but it is a start if he wants to make it back. Again, another Frisbee coming out. The up smash to finish it off. Nintendo with a clinical two-stock playing like game one never happened. And I love the mental fatality that they're both playing with that. Nintendo firing back shots. I mean, those were two equally dominant game one and game two just on either side. So it's going to be a game three between the two of them onto Smashville. Do you like the stage counter pick from Master Mario? Uh, yeah, actually I do. It has the one platform in the center. It allows him to go ahead and work from either side to actually get himself in those ladder combos. The question is, is the ceiling low enough for him to actually go ahead and get the kills from that as early as he does in other stages? That's going to be the question. Game three. I just don't know enough experience. That's actually just my personal question. Somebody else obviously knows it. Certainly. Game three, a ticket into winner's semis on the line. The winner of this will be facing off against Chag. Already Nintendo already putting up that wall. Pretty well, really well set up so far. 51% unanswered from him. Elbow makes his way back to the landing there and already into the tornado once again. 40% already back. And just when we said we couldn't think it was unanswered. Wow, nice parry, but not going to be able to get any punish out of it. Nintendo really spaces himself. Oh, no! He's gone! That's a dunk Shaquille O'Neal would have been proud of right there. <laughs> the first time he even went to the fair off stage and already one for one with those. Oh, right. he dunks him right back, but he didn't quite get him off the stage. Excellent DI been. to just land on that white ledge. And that was very close for Nintendo. I was already thoroughly entertained, but you can't entertain me more. Please, please continue. <laughs> Keep going. As we say here, Master Mario in a bit of a percent lead, but being Not chased. for long. It's pretty close now, back to the same stock percent. There's only a 28% difference, actually, difference between the two. Yeah, no sooner do I say it than Nintendo is starting to put on some of this pressure. A bit high with the gunman there, but already into Master Mario's grab. I'm already loving this high octane momentum switches that they keep putting back and forth. Down throw does not find the up air to follow up, but I was going to say he covered himself well with the can, but Master Mario was positioned just well enough to be able to get an area follow up. Yeah, he's just trying to wall him out with those fireballs, trying to make sure that, that Nintendo doesn't get things set up, but he's already throwing up those uh, forward smashes. He's starting off stage, and he gives Master. That Nair really got actually coming in clutch from ever since he started using it in game two. Yeah, Master Mario utilized his jump early, and that's just been to his detriment there. At, that Nair has surprisingly large range from Duck Hunt, and especially when you just are drifting back to the stage without a jump. That's just going to be such an obstacle for him to avoid. Master Mario is trying to throw up some random... Ooh. Gets it with a <laughs> reverse up smash, though, and we have a game here. Last stock. This is best of three, so... This someone, is the final stock. Someone will be dropping down into losers after this. I'm surprised this winner quarter side. I thought it would be best of five, but, you know, hey, what do I know? <laughs> just best of three to begin here. Can on top of the platform. Master Mario is sitting at 90%, so Nintendo in the driver's seat, but who knows for how long. Up throw from Master Mario gets a couple of up airs in a row. Oh, did he do it? That was so close. It was really clever to actually go ahead and change the direction. Might have actually, you know, messed up the DI for him for that. We have, we're at near even percent, actually. Yeah, this could be game over for either one of them. That's it! Up smash from Nintendo is going to do it. The unranked Nintendo upsetting Master Mario. He's going to be moving on to the next round.